welcome back to my channel. It's Liliana. Before we get started on anything, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I post any new videos. So today's look is clearly the super trendy cloud eye makeup. I know it's been blowing up my newsfeed, so it has to be blowing up yours as well. News feed, whatever, Instagram feed, you know what I'm talking about. I felt like, hmm, let me do my take on this too. I really did not practice this at all. You know how when people say, don't let them see you struggle? <laughs> you guys are going to see me struggle really hard trying to attempt this trend. It was a little difficult for me because I didn't practice, like I said. It was just like, I don't know, my hands want to do glam and cut crease, not this outside the box thing that I'm not used to. So if you want to see me struggle, then just continue watching. Okay guys, so I did my eyebrows and my base off camera like I always do, and I just don't know where to start. So I'm going to go into this dirty ass Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to be using this shade right here, this yellowy shade, to start the transition. So then I'm going to focus it on the outer corner of the crease and lightly brush back and forth. Then I'm going to go into the Shayla in ColourPop Perception Palette and I'm going to be using the shade Thick. With Thick, we're going to focus this on the outside and kind of bring it forward. So I'm gonna be going into Juvia's Place's Nubian 2 palette and I'm gonna be going into Morocco and I'm just gonna brighten up the orange a tad bit. So like I said, focus this on the outer part and just do feathery back and forth motions. And I'm going very soft using light pressure just so it pops. There is fallout on this and it's like getting on my cheekbone, but that's okay, we'll wipe it off. And I'm gonna be going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and I'm gonna be using the shade Love Letter. We're gonna just bring this even closer and into our crease. So starting right here, and then into the crease. Then I'm gonna take my blending brush and just blend. cloud part, I'm going to be using the Ben Nye Cloud Stack, and I'm going to be using the white shade right here, and let's see if we can do this. So I'm just going to take the shape right here, and bring it outwards, and then go a little forward on the eye, and then go right here. not like a cloud, this looks like it's a fog. Scared to go higher, guy. <laughs> I'm scared I'm gonna mess this up. So basically, I'm just trying to make a cloud. I can't explain this because I'm too scared. And then we're gonna dip it down. And then back up. I'm scared guys, so I'm gonna go in with a lip pencil brush, or lip pencil brush, a lip brush, and try to, there we go. I think I got it. And I'm just gonna clean up the lines. into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit to set the 
Cloud, and I'm going to be using the shade Snow, which is the white highlighter shade. I'm going to go back in with the Masquerade palette and I'm going to go into the shade Bori, which is the hot pink shade that we used on our crease. And I'm going to go in with a smaller detail brush and I'm going to blend the lines. Blur the lines. So I'm just taking it starting from right here, the outer corner, and I'm just lightly going to push through. And I'm kind of mimicking or mirroring the cloud so it looks like it's like, I don't know, a fluffy pink cloud. Then I'm going to go back in with the lipstick brush and I'm going to attempt to create stars and shit. So let's hope this works. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm like drawing on my hand so easily. But I feel like when it gets to my lids, I'm gonna be like this. I'm gonna lift my eyebrow up to stretch my eyes and then. I think what's helping me is I'm making the brush flat on my hand and then I'm just picking it up lightly and then I'm using the thin line of the brush and just like going across once and leaving it alone and then going across again. Okay guys, so I finally got everything under control, finished the other eye, and now I'm going into the face, and I'm going to be using the NYX Pore Filler, and we just got Lena. She's running low, so just give me something here. There we go. Okay, so for the next step, I am going into the L'Oreal Infallible Glow Pro in the shade 204. And I'm just going to dot her all over my face. And the forehead. And Junola. I'm going in with a BH Cosmetics foundation brush, and I'm just going to blend her through. Okay, for so concealer, I am going in with the Ben Nye Concealer in the shade Pale Honey. I'm just going to put her all over my beauty blender and then just dabble her all over my face. So I'm just going to go ahead and set the concealer with my Mehron powder and a flat spongy brush. Then I am just going to bake underneath my cheekbones.
my NARS Laguna bronzer and I'm taking a large, open this. I'm gonna be taking a large bronzing brush or what is now a bronzing brush, I don't know. And we're just going to warm up the face. Then I'm gonna go ahead and dust everything off. And I'm gonna work on my under eyes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in with the hot pink from the Masquerade palette. Take it about halfway. Then I'm gonna go back in with the Morocco shade from the Juvia's Place palette and blend that into the pink shade. So I'm gonna be taking my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Aquarius, and I'm going to line my lips. Then I'm going to be using the matte liquid lipstick from ColourPop as well in the shade Trap. And for the final step, which is highlighting, I'm going to be going into the shade Lyra. And I might mix it in with a little bit of Spectra as well. And we'll see what how it comes out. Oh, she came out cute. We're going to keep doing that. Okay guys, so this is my finished look for the cloud eye makeup trend. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I feel like my clouds aren't as fluffy. They're like, you know, limp and like lifeless on the curves. Like my cloud, she's been through some shit. But I think I did an okay job. And if you do too, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And until then, I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.